not allowed to have them on keto. Well, it's got 19 grams of sugar <laughs> on apple, so that tells you that. And there was cinnamon and cloves and regular cane sugar. Um, so when I do my business and go out to different vendor events, um, I make jam and jelly and salsa. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, you uh, have a page on Facebook, don't you? <laughs> I do. Um, I need to taste everything that I make to make sure that it is the way that it is supposed to taste. So, I ate a little tiny, not even baby spoon full of apple butter. And that ended up giving me chest pains. My stomach was hurting. My gallbladder was hurting. I was nauseous. I felt sick. You learned your lesson. <laughs> All because of one little tiny taste of apple butter. Um. Yeah. We was see. We was at church. Uh, when was that? Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. We did communion. Mm -hmm. Um. The church we went to used uh, grape juice. It, which we did not know. And I'm like, well, you know, a little thimble of grape juice ain't going to, you know, affect us none. You'd be amazed of how much sugar is packed in the thimble of grape oh. juice. It gave me a headache. It put, Straight headache. It put me on the toilet. So, you know, your body reacts. Everybody's body reacts to certain stuff different ways. And I had a lot of people saying, oh, no, that's just a little thimble of grape juice. It ain't um, going to hurt you. It ain't going to hurt you, whatever. Holy but you'd be amazed when you cut out sugar for three months. And, and you, then you drink a little tiny bit. And you drink whatever's packed in the thimble of grape juice. Yeah. It... So, you know, if I do communion, it's got to be tea or water. <laughs> and we decided next yeah, time there's a... communion, we're going to bring in our own unsweet tea <laughs> so they can fill up the little thimble of with it with tea mm. so that we can have our little communion. Yeah, you because know, I believe um, that and we're going to bring in our back keto in, bread. Back in Jesus' time and stuff, when they did communion, you know, they used wine. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't packed with the junk that's in wine and in grape juice as it is today they didn't throw a gallon of sugar in the grape juice or whatever it was very pure back then you know no msg in it no gmos in it you know it was very healthy for you back then you know you never you don't hear of people dying from cancer back then or mm -mm. or having tremendous health problems as there is and today. And they lived a very long time. And they lived a very long time, very long, healthy life. Mm -hmm. um, so the keto diet is pretty much getting back to the um, roots of our ancestors is what it is. I mean, you didn't hear about people dying from cancer 50 years ago. 30 years ago it wasn't popular at all mm -hmm. as it is today um more and more it's you hear about a health problem or hear about somebody dying it's from cancer mm -hmm. that so. and keto will help out pretty much every medical problem that you've got yeah um basic food getting away from the sugar getting you know using sea salt not sodium chloride which is regular um table, table salt, salt. Um, Himalayan salts packed with minerals for you. I mean, it's very, uh, keto is very easy. Um, I really hope people, you know, don't make it hard on yourself. Don't make it expensive on yourself because it's not. Um, this past week, what did me and you get in groceries? What did we get in groceries? Last night when we placed our order. <laughs> Tons of vegetables, lettuce, cucumber, green pepper. Nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast. Which is a big thing. Um, I'm addicted to it. I dump it on everything. <laughs> <laughs> but it gives you all um, all or most of your B vitamins. Um, nutritional yeast does. So I know I take um, you know this uh, P5P, which is uh, B6 vitamin. So that's just a little extra on top of it. And But nutritional yeast gives you uh, most of your B vitamins. Um, I use Bragg's. Um, however you want to say it, but I will, uh, put that in description. Um, mm -hmm. go over and grab that real quick. Let's show the, um, viewers 
what it is. I'm sure they can order it off Amazon too if they oh, don't yeah. have it. Um, I get it from my Kroger's. Um, me and my wife do a lot of the online ordering now just because it's simple, easy. You make a few clicks and you, you, you yeah, you don't, uh, you don't go around the store and buy unnecessary stuff that you really don't need. Yeah, there's, sometimes there's a convenience service fee, whatever, but you go, you know, our local Kroger's, you just pull up, call a number, they bring your groceries out to you. Yeah, it's kind of lazy, but it's been saving us a lot of money from just typically shopping at a grocery store. Um, I use Walmart for water and salad. <laughs> That's it, because um, our Kroger's don't sell the, the big um, things of salad. Mm -mm. For some reason, they, they don't. Uh, all right, here is Bragg's Nutritional Yeast for YouTube and Facebook viewers. Um, I'll link that below. Very good. Um, it's non-GMO. You know, it is vegan. See, it says gluten-free, sugar-free, zero sugars in it. Got uh, B6, B12, potassium, you know, vitamin D, all kinds of stuff in it. Um, very healthy stuff for you. I eat it or try to eat it at least every day. Um, I'll dump it on my salad. Mm -hmm. That's my best way of eating it. Yeah. Um, you have a uh, product to review over there? Yeah, I got a couple. Wasn't uh, before keto you was addicted to pop? Yeah. Um, or soda, wherever you're from, whatever you want to call it. While or, I was pregnant, I was addicted to Coca-Cola. And every day, constantly, I was drinking a Coke. That or a Diet Mountain Dew. And what was your, um, what's your alternative to that? How'd you come off of that? I found some Zevia. Zevia? Um, well, look, cola. I have a Zevia. <laughs> ginger ale. I like the ginger ale myself. I like the cola because I like the taste of Coke. Um, what were those one, um, regular Cokes, but it had zero sugar in it? Was it, um... Talking about bubbly or Coke Zero? It wasn't Coke Zero. It was like an off-brand, like, kind of like RC Cola. Okay. Do you remember what I'm talking no, about? No, I really don't. But it tasted just like cola, but it wasn't cola. Which is probably chemicals and whatnot all mixed together. But here is Zevia. Zevia. Cola. Zevia Cola. Mm -hmm. And we also have Zevia Cream Soda and Zevia um, Root Beer. Um, see this is, got stevia in it, hence the word, you know, zevia. Um, carbonated water, which don't affect ketosis at all. You know, natural flavors, it's got a little caffeine in it. Um, or have an issue you know, again. it's all, it's all fine and dandy. Um, link in the description if, uh, there we go. you know, you guys want to uh, pick you up some zevia, which is good stuff. And also for breakfast, you know, if people's getting tired of making your bulletproof coffee, which is coconut oil and butter or Kerrygold butter, if people get tired of eating eggs, if you you have to make your own cereal, which lasted us what two days? Yeah, probably. <laughs> because it was so good. Hey, to... you ought to um, do Leah's kitchen video on cereal. On cereal? Yeah, show everybody how to make cereal. I'm sure you'd be interested in learning that one. <clears throat> yeah, but we have found an alternative, um, the Birch Benders, the Paleo Pancake Waffle Mix. Paleo? Why are we using paleo on a keto diet? <laughs> because I've read the back, the ingredients for the paleo and for the keto. The keto is about $2 more than the paleo. These, this paleo was only $5 at our local Walmart. Uh, the keto brand, or the keto one, was $7 for the exact same amount, exact same ingredients. So, so I'm going to get the cheaper one. So they're selling it higher because of the keto hype, huh? Because, it, because <laughs> of it saying keto on it, yes. Right. So I have made waffles out of this. Um, we don't really like pancakes that much. Um, waffles. So we make waffles, and then I freeze them and heat them up, and they're delicious. Um, 
then our syrup, we get the Maple Grove Farms sugar-free syrup. And they can order one off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, what was the Amazon one? Uh, Chalk Zero. Chalk Zero. Um, Which was like $11 or so for a little yeah, tiny. Yeah, it was like nine something. It's kind of expensive, but you know, that's very, very, very good um, syrup mm -hmm. too. And it's zero sugar, zero everything pretty much. Um, that was really healthy. But this right here, I mean, this is the, the best, best yeah. sugar-free syrup that you can get in the grocery store. At Walmart, at least. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, Kroger's has it as well. Um, I think Kroger's is more of your keto-friendly store than what Walmart is. Mm-hmm. So, that's my opinion on that. Yeah. Well, what else you got for the viewers today? Um... Would you like to talk about a um, little bit about your um, Leah's Kitchen and advertise your uh, Leah's Jams and Jellies page? So uh, let them know where they can find you. <laughs> My Leah's Jams and Jellies, you can find me on Facebook at Leah's Jams and Jellies. Um, I'll put a link in the description below as well. Um, all of my jams and jellies are homemade. Um, the best ingredients guaranteed to satisfy your taste buds. All the recipes I use date back to the 1930s and 40s. Uh, my grandmother B before, taught me. Before people started having cancer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. When people were actually healthy. All right. <laughs> and <clears throat> I cook everything slow. So everything gets mixed in together and everything gets evenly distributed throughout the whole batch. And so you don't destroy the nutrients. Mm hmm Yeah. Very good. Um, out back, I have all of my berry trees planted. We're just waiting for them to grow. Um, I have pepper jams. Um, my salsas. You're allowed to eat peppers on keto? We are. We are. Yeah. Jalapenos, habaneros, ghost peppers? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anything grown above ground is yeah. typically healthy for you. Yes. Um, onions and carrots that are grown in the ground, you can eat those in moderation. Not a lot of them, but you can eat them. Leafy green vegetables. Mm-hmm. And I like your potatoes. And you're allowed to have radishes, which grow underground. Yeah, well, a little bit of radishes. Mm-hmm. So you just got to do your research on what yeah, you can definitely do your eat. research on it yeah um yeah you got I questions will, uh, check out dr berg he'll he can explain everything in detail yeah and uh, sometimes it gets confusing um even for me <laughs> i've been studying but, it for a long time and you know i've got the hang of knowing what is what mm -hmm. i'm gonna go grab some jam go grab some jam show everybody your jam <laughs> But yeah, I've uh, see I've watched pretty much every single Dr. Berg video there is um, that he's got on keto, and it's like twenty five hundred videos. Um, but you guys, you know, don't let nobody discourage you in the keto diet. You can do it. It's not hard. Um, so what if people people want to make fun of you for it? You know, so what? Um, really, who cares what other people think? You know, you can, you know, look at them and say, oh, look at all the weight I lost. Um, look at my health benefits. Look how healthy I am. I got off the high blood pressure. You know, I'm not a diabetic no more. I don't have to take the insulin no more, uh, which is a hormone anyway that you're, you know, injecting in your body um, because your body is not making enough or making too much and it just regulates it which is man-made hormone um which goes back to the uh the pharmacy discussion that we had a little bit ago um by the way if you guys want to leave any comments down below go right ahead um those of you watching it um check out my youtube channel it is called health and keto um you gotta spell the a and d out but 
for those on Facebook, hop over there. I got, I don't know, 15 videos probably at least made now. But I've just been um, recording my journey. Um, we will be writing a keto book. Um, it's called My Keto Journey. It will be available on Amazon Kindle for those who want to order it for $2.99. I did have a pre-order option available, um, but I canceled that because I want to put a little bit more time into this book to uh, really you know, let the, the readers know what keto is about and the details of my journey. Um, and I just didn't want to hurry up and get it done. You know, I want, uh, I want you guys to truly enjoy it. So it will probably be available in, um, August, I imagine it was going to be available, you know, the first week of July, but we just want to really take our time with it. Um, but I will make a video when it's available on, uh, Amazon Kindle and you guys can jump over there to look at it. Um, you know, here Leah's going to show her jams of what she makes. Mm -hmm. And if you guys want to check that out on her page, um, believe me, you will not buy this type of jam in stores at all. Mm -mm. Um, so stop over to Leah's Jams and Jellies on Facebook and, you know, make sure you, uh, check, check it out, put your order in. She'll be glad to make it for you. Go ahead. Um, I grabbed the ones that are for keto only right now. Um, first up is keto blackberry. And if you guys can see or so, this is blackberry. I made this May 5th, no, May 6th of this year. I always put a label on top for the date that I had made it. Um... Look, it's not even liquid. <laughs> Look how thick this jam is. See the gap? Let me go up here to our viewers on Facebook and show you this jam. Huh. You guys see that? Not That's even. some good jam That's right some there. That's good jam right there. <sighs> Look at that, shaking it, not even going down. Shaking it, not even going down. <laughs> Next one is blueberry I got. And same, it's not even liquefied. It's blueberry. I made this one on May 6th as well. Every time um, someone places an order for um, jam, if I have to ship it out, I will put in a, my ingredients list um, a disclaimer saying that if you or someone you know who is allergic to any of these ingredients, to not consume it and that I'm not responsible for allergic reactions because there's ingredients listed. Um, <clears throat> and I always send in my list of jams that I have, including um, sugared jams and my sugar-free. Um, this one is raspberry. And again... Which we don't eat the sugar jams, we eat the no, keto. we eat the keto, only the keto. But if somebody doesn't like keto, <laughs> you know, doesn't want to be healthy, then they can eat the ones with sugar in it. Mm-hmm. And these right here have been sitting out in my van outside um, from our last event that we went to. And so they've been in the heat because inside the van is hotter. Uh, this one right here is strawberry. And, I mean, look at this. It's not... So if you would go buy a jam or a jelly from the store and sit it out in the heat and sun. It would liquefy. It would liquefy, yeah. It would so completely just, liquefy. Yeah, just look at the um, the quality of what you make. I, I mean, that, that product is not going to be available in stores. in stores at all. And I even have some strawberry rhubarb um, for keto. And this uh, tastes absolutely here. delicious. I messed it up. <laughs> you did. It wouldn't connect. Here we are back. <laughs> <sighs> but even the strawberry rhubarb is not liquefied. 
Sorry to the uh, Facebook viewers. Something um, happened that said it could not connect our live. So the uh, feed is probably pretty slow. Um, that or something wrong with the, uh, the site. Now, the only jam that I like to eat is the strawberry. Because I don't like raspberries. And if you guys uh, can't see this all on Facebook, um, you know, it will be available on my YouTube channel, which is Health and Keto. For you guys to view the whole thing. I don't like blackberries and I don't like blueberries. And I don't like strawberry rhubarb. So I only eat the strawberry. But all of these are available for keto. So if anybody wants to go off and purchase them. Um, I will put my descriptions and the links and everything in the description box down below. Um, you'll be able to see the prices of them. Um, and if you'd like to, you can send a message and I can get these right here sent out to you. We do do, um, monthly. I am starting to do a drawing for some free jam. And you're getting ready to start, um, subscriptions. I am. We're still working um, on that. That's definitely a work in progress right now. Mm -hmm. Um, starting monthly, um, subscriptions, you'll just sign up. Pay a monthly fee. Um, and pay, a month, jam. pay a monthly fee. Your jam will be shipped to you. Mm -hmm. Free of charge. So, uh, be no shipping on that one. If you guys want to stop over to her page and sign up for that. Mm -hmm. But this has just been a basic um, keto review of what we've, you know, what we use on our day to day life. Um, Yo, it is my Keto Thought of the Week, which I do on Saturdays over on um, YouTube. I'll be posting it to my YouTube page. If you guys like to stop over there and check out this full video, um, you know, it will be available on there. Um, I noticed there's some uh, viewers coming in to Facebook, and our, we got uh, disconnected from it somehow. <coughs> It's probably the feed was too slow, but it did mess up um, the first video. The first video. So hopefully you guys can go back and view that. But the full video will be available on Health and Keto channel. Um, what do you plan on making in your next uh, video on Leah's Kitchen? Any ideas at all? <laughs> Show them how to make some cereal. The cereal's a long process. Um. But it tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. We've made it <laughs> once. Oh, long process, but very good. <laughs> it's very, very good. It's a slow process. Oh. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Like I said, this is my keto thought of the week, um, which I do on Saturdays. And it is available on YouTube, this whole video. So we're going for about almost an hour now, 57 minutes. Well, how minutes. about let's let the viewers decide what I should do a video of next. You guys comment down below. Um, any questions? We'll go ahead and take questions in the next three minutes or so here. Comment down below. Um, I thought it, about trying to make some pretzels. If you guys... <laughs> good luck. <laughs> some um, soft pretzels. If you guys viewing on Facebook would like to comment down below... Um, Let any, me. any questions, any concerns, you know, anything that you would like Leah's Kitchen to, um, to make, go right ahead. Um, or order some jam. Order some jam. Mm -hmm. Stop over and get you some jam. Um, what here, one's your favorite? You know, here's her jam. Oh, I love the raspberry. There is her jam right there. Let me come up here and show you guys. Um, this is her jam over at Leah's Jams and Jellies. I think that one was the last jar that yeah. I made. That because is, that was that not completely quality. full. Um, this has been sitting in our van actually for um, two months, <laughs> probably since our last uh, <laughs> since our last um, vendor event that we went to. Um, we do she does sell them at uh, um, flea markets and things. Mm -hmm. um, but it is sweetened with stevia. So if you guys are not allergic to stevia, um, you know, or like stevia. Go over and stop over to her page, Leah's Jams and Jellies, on Facebook. Put in your order. Um, you can get a monthly subscription. We're still working on it. But if you'd like message it... message me and let me know you want yeah. a monthly subscription and I can set it up for you. We just haven't figured out how to do the automatic payments Face on yeah. Facebook. Facebook won't um, really allow 
a monthly reoccurring thing. So that's uh, that's our difficulties figuring that out right now. But I do take Square. Um, that's how I do the payments. Is Which is secured, secured payments. Yes. Um, no, no card information. All you need uh, to send me is your email address so. and your address. Um, and it does, you know, you do not save nobody's card information no. whatsoever. You I do, don't see you nobody's don't, card. You don't even see nobody's card information. That's all done through Square. Yeah, I, I just need your email, what you're wanting, your email address, and after, I, I'll send you an email through Square that shows you what all you ordered, what the total is, what the shipping is, and but if you're going to do the subscriptions, or is it going to be any shipping included? And you pay it. Once I receive the email saying that it's paid, I will ask you for your address, and I will I will message you and tell you, hey, your jam has been shipped out. You will receive it in two days. And typically, um, my boxes can hold four jars of jam, and I charge ten dollars to ship it. And then and the subscriptions are free shipping. The subscriptions are free shipping. Yes. So if you guys would like to order some keto jams, stop over there and check her out on uh, Facebook, Leo's Jams and Jellies. Um, you can check out my YouTube page. It is called Health and Keto. Um, it has uh, like a green background. Um, stop over there and view it. Every product that we reviewed today, the vitamins that I reviewed, um, will be in the description below my YouTube uh, video. I reviewed <laughs> Dr. Berg's gallbladder formula. I've reviewed Dr. Berg's sleep aid. I've re reviewed super enzymes from now. I've resumed a multivitamin from now. I've reviewed, you know, your P5P vitamin uh, B6. I reviewed this Rubbermaid container that I use all week in the salad challenge. You can pick this up on Amazon. This little thing will keep your salad good for at least five days, at least a week um, in the fridge. And this little container is amazing. So there's that if you guys want to see that. I reviewed Dr. Berg's little book, which is, I don't know how many pages, 52 pages long. Um, it says it's not lose weight to get healthy. It's get healthy to lose weight. Link's going to be in my YouTube description on that one. Um, I do have Dr. Berg's um, Healthy Keto Plan, which is his newest book. Um, I will leave this link in the description. I believe you can order um, his older book off of Amazon, but there's really no changes made to it. That was called the, um, the Body Guide, um, Basic Body Guide or something like that, um, which there's really not too many changes made in that book um what we got here what it called her page um stacy um her jam and jellies is called leah's jam leah's jams and jellies it is a comma s after leah's a comma s after jams a comma s after jellies um that's how she liked it no it is not formal but that's how we done it um your YouTube page is called Leah's Kitchen, which is com s kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the little L with the circle. The uh, jellies is J E L L apostrophe S. Um, what are the pills? Okay, this one is just a eco green um, multivitamin. I got this from the health food store, but it is cheaper on Amazon. Um, it is from now. It's got just tons of multivitamins. I used to take um, Centrum until I learned about Centrum, how horrible it is for you to take. Um, your body does not absorb Centrum at all, and I will completely bash Centrum. Um, it goes one in and out the other. But this is just a um, multivitamin that I take every day. It's got green superfoods in it, um, tons and tons of vitamins. The link will be below on um, my YouTube channel that's the multivitamin that i take every day okay this one's called super enzymes it's just for digestion support breaks down fats carbs proteins um it's got ox bile which is bile salts in it 
Um, this really helps um, digestion. You know, I did run all that. Mm -hmm. um, we need to go and buy some more. <laughs> this is just a B6 vitamin it's called P5P, which is really healthy for you. Um, got B6, magnesium, zinc in it. Um, stop over to YouTube, check my channel out, and I'll leave that in the description of this video. I'm going to let um, play in this room. He said he was hot. Okay. Um, this is gallbladder formula that I ordered from Dr. Berg. This will be also YouTube description. This just helps with digestion. Um, it also has bile salts in it. Um, that I know of, you cannot get too many or too much bile salts because it just helps with your overall um, digestion but that will be linked in description um, this one is a sleep aid that I take um, personally you know you guys don't have to but this is called Dr. Berg sleep aid um, before I started keto I my adrenals were messed up I would sleep 12, 14 hours a day, every day, no matter what I did. I was exhausted. I could go out and work in the yard. I could go to work. I could sit on the couch all day. It didn't matter. I was sleeping 12, 14 hours a day. Um, I got on keto. I got uh, Dr. Berg's Adrenal Kit. And this was just one of the products that come in the kit. And, you know, I recommend this one tremendously if you have any sleep problems at all i was to the point where i was going to go see a specialist for my sleep problems you now um i didn't have sleep apnea um i actually had it scheduled to go see a um neurologist and um sleep doctor which would have been tremendous amounts of money that i would have just thrown down the drain and since I've been taking the sleep aid, I've been sleeping seven, eight hours. Um, really great, you know, really great restful night's sleep. This says, uh, you know, get a great night's rest and wake up refreshed. And I, man, I uh, really recommend that one. Um, that is very true saying. Um, hopefully that helped whoever asked about the uh, pill question. It's just um, vitamins. Um, I really don't take... Uh, you know, I really don't take any um, prescriptions other than my blood pressure medicine, which I completely don't need anymore. But I do drive a semi-truck um, for a living, which is one of the highest regulated um, jobs out there. Mm -hmm. um, for To drive a semi, you have to get what's called a DOT physical. Um, you know, some people get yearly cards, some people get two-year. If you're on blood pressure medicine you get a one-year card um in order for me to get off my blood pressure medicine i have to go pay a doctor to check my blood pressure and say you do not need it no more make his signature on a piece of paper i pay him whatever hundreds of dollars it's going to cost me to do this which it is um, going to be worth it and i am working on doing that but he'll sign off a little piece of paper. The next year I get my physical, I'll get my two-year card because I don't have to take my blood pressure medicine anymore. My blood pressure has been completely normal. Yeah. Um, I have um, studied, uh, see, I have took my blood pressure and evaluated myself on a blood pressure monitor, which I do carry in my truck. I went a day without taking my blood pressure medicine blood pressure was fine it was 120 over 70 or 60 I, I kind of forget what it was but i don't need it anymore uh, moving on to any more questions here hello from canada or hey from canada hello from united states um from in, ohio <laughs> we live um, in a tiny town called so, Canada. so i see keto pills do they work um do they work? Yes, they do. Tremendously. 